The next step we're going to do is location, which is our, you need a name for your restaurant and you need a location. So the name of the restaurant, you can make it really whatever name you want. Uh, you can use Japanese characters for the name as well, if you want. Um, I will, of course, obviously double check to make sure I know what that says in Japanese characters, but you can put your Japanese name to your restaurant in uh, using Japanese characters if you want for the name. But once you have a name for your restaurant, so let's say we have like a Ferrara's famous uh, Japanese cafe house. Hey, oh, there's the name of my uh, restaurant. So now I got a name for my restaurant. The next thing then is finding a place in Japan. Now, last time I talked to you about downloading Google Earth, uh, there's another way to do it as well. You can just simply type in your search bar, uh, Google Earth. And I think you have to put the word Chrome. I don't quite remember. I think you might just be able to type Google Earth. And you want the Google Earth web version. So you can download it. I prefer the download version. But you can also use the web version as well. The web version takes a while to load up. But once it does load up, this is what it looks like. And then you can zoom up on Japan. So Japan's over here, right? And then you can find a location in Japan. And you want to take multiple screenshots of whatever place you pick in Japan because you want to be able to, to you know, be able to find this place later and so forth. So do take multiple screenshots of the location. So you'll take kind of multiple screenshots in such a location. Once you find the place that you want to use, uh, so let's see here. So once you find a place you want to use, and it doesn't already have to be a Japanese restaurant. It can just be whatever place or house or building that you want to use for it. But once you found a location, like, hey, this one right here. I mean, it's a government office, but I think I was just converted over. So this is a location I decided I want to use. So you will take multiple pictures, be like, all right, so take a screenshot of this, take a screenshot zoomed in and such. So you kind of take multiple pictures of it and such. So that way you can kind of be able to find the location and such. So you'll take on multiple pictures of it. And then once you've taken multiple pictures of it and such, and you have that all set, then you can go from there. All right, now I lost that building I was looking at. See, this, you gotta be careful about this because then you, you move it around, you zoom out, and then you kind of miss where it was. All right, let me see if I can quickly find it. All right, let me see if I can We apparently not. Okay, so I lost where that was that I was trying to look for. Well, that's okay. So. As I said, you want to kind of have a location picked and then you want to make sure you kind of know where that location is. So that way it's like, all right, sweet. There's the place. Oh, there it is. That's the one I wanted. All right. So there's my location. So yeah, that's, that's why you take a whole bunch of screenshots and then you got to remember where it is. So that way you can find it again. But once you find the location that you chose, the next thing you want to do is measure. So there's a tool right down here. That's your measuring tool in the bottom left hand corner. You click on that. Uh, you can also do this, of course, if you download the program and you want to put this into feet. And you want to measure the building. So you want its length. I got about 85 feet. And you want its width. Uh, whoops. So you, you want to do one at a time. So you want to start new. So start new. Then measure. Then done. And then start new. And then measure. So we had 85 feet by 30 feet. Okay, so now you know the dimensions of the building. And you want to make sure you write it down. So you want to take plenty of screenshots. And then also write down your building, its length, so 85 feet by 30 feet. Okay, so you want to have your dimension. So you want to take home the screenshots and such. You want to put that into there. So you want to take plenty of screenshots. Uh, take a screenshot that's alt print screen, takes a screenshot. On your guys' Chromebook, it's the control. And then I guess the best way to explain what the key looks like, it's a box. And then there's two lines next to it, and it's in your top row of your Chromebook. Uh, I don't have a better way of explaining it than that, but it's a box with two lines at the very top. You click on that, it will say screenshot taken in your bottom corner when you press both keys at the same time. So control plus the box out of two lines. It will say that, hey, screenshot is taken. You want to copy it to the clipboard. So you click copy to the clipboard. So that way it's copied. And then you can come over and you can press control P, and that will then paste it. Whoops. Not control P. Control V. What am I talking about? Control V. Control P is the paste. So you press control V to paste it in. All right. So then it pastes in and then you can get it all set and such. Okay. Uh, hopefully that all kind of makes sense. So again, it's uh, for you guys. It's the control key that's spelled C-T-R-L. Okay. So it's that key. Plus uh, it, it's a box with 
two straight lines next to it. So it's like a box and then like two straight lines next to it. Okay, it's on the very top row of your keyboard. Again, I don't have a better way of explaining it than that. Um, you press both those at the same time, it will say copy the clipboard, you hit copy clipboard. And then when you want to paste it in, it's control plus your V key. Control V is the paste, okay? All right. Um, but in case, finish off the 20 foods. If you're not doing the 20 foods, or if you are doing the 20 foods, then you can move on to the name of your place. Take it home with the screenshots. Uh, make sure you label uh, famous landmarks uh, that are nearby as well. So make sure you also label famous landmarks. You kind of just write them also onto the slides. Well, you can use multiple slides. You don't need to just use one slide. Use multiple slides. All right.